element to the move called a peach with a half turn in it supposed to be done through a handstand and there's only a few gymnasts in this event that are able to do it consistently and cleanly let's see if west Tudor can do it okay there's the mount he did not pass through a handstand it was okay but certainly not virtuous and that's what the judges are looking for this extra amplitude to throw the big score there's a drop piece that's another critical element an underbar move has a nice style though he really has a good clean line his long limbs are very impressive because he looks very tall and that's nice very nice back off with a half excellent Suter is the tallest of the u.s team members at 510 that's quite tall for a gymnast born in philadelphia lives in lincoln nebraska now let's see what they're doing here this is a move where you go under bar with a move called a peach and you're supposed to twist half turn and of course if you do that right it should go right through the handstand now, the way the code prescribes this move, it doesn't necessarily have to go through handstand. He did it perfectly well. But in order to get a perfect 10 or even a 9-9, nine -nine, the judges are going to need to see that go through the handstand. Once again, here's a very clean straddle cut. And as you can see, Wes has really very exact position. He has very clean basics, good form, and of course, that will show up in his score. However, you need to be a little more explosive and a little more dynamic in these events. So Suter, the first step for the United States on the parallel bars, and there's going to be a similarity throughout this day of gymnastics and into tomorrow morning, in fact, for those of you in the United States, as we'll have a late session tonight. Every gymnast required to make the same moves, and the judges then trying to look in the mirror and see uh, who is the Snow White, who is fairest of them all. Nine point. 4-0 for West Suter. Actually, once again, like Lance Ringnall,